are here to celebrate the CNA, HHA, Alzheimer's, DPR graduates. Rockin' Workforce Board, um, rep, you know, uh, did this program this fall, and we worked collaboratively with the Academy for Healthcare Training, Libby and Ann, your trainers, as well as the Rockin uh, Career Center downstairs, which most of you have met everybody down there as well. So today we're here to celebrate the success, but I, I really want to introduce Sheila because she always makes a point of reminding us that this is the beginning. So. Sheila Sullivan Jardim is our executive director here. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Congratulations. Thank you. Give yourself a round of applause. So it is, a, uh, it is great to see you here today. It, it's uh, wonderful to hear about your success. As uh, Lorraine mentioned, today is your first step. Today we'll give you your certificates so that you can move on and go into the world of work, find employment and start your career path. But what we really want to encourage you is that today is just the first step. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of opportunities for you to move from where you are to advance and continue in the healthcare field. It's possible to advance within a particular organization or an agency. What we do want to encourage you is to continue to learn and also to continue to keep us in mind. We do have a number of resources available. We have a number of avenues and options that we can help you out with, not only helping you locate your next step, but also to help you fund the next step, okay? Mm -hmm. So, as I said, congratulations on this first step of your career path. We really encourage you to make it that first, not your last. And we'll be here to help you in any way we can. Again, whether it's to help you identify your next step, if you want to go into medical assisting or LPN or nursing, or maybe you want to find on the other side healthcare administration. You want to run one of the facilities. We'll be happy to help you find the, the correct training and educational program. And as I said, trying to help you find a, a way to finance that. So again, I know you've got a, a big day ahead of you to meet with our employers and our speed networking. Uh, fully take advantage of it. Ask your questions. It's also your time to see where you want to work. See what is the best fit for you. A lot of different types of um, opportunities. So today's your day to ask questions, kind of get a better idea as to what's a good step for your, your next career path. And again, we just want to congratulate you and uh, say thank you for putting the efforts in and for moving forward and for getting the program. Thank you. So before we move into the certificates, I want to ask you guys a question. Uh, is there any one of you, or more than one of you, who might want to say something to Sheila or to Lorraine or to Ray? in appreciation of this opportunity. If, if, I'm going to volunteer you if you don't volunteer. So go ahead, Taisha. Well, first, I'd like to take the opportunity for my fellow classmates for being so wonderful and everything. We worked hard as a team and group. But I also want to just say thank you to each and every one of the staff members that had something to do with us being involved in the program as a whole. Um, I know you guys do take a chance and a risk where, you know, you have to come together to just accommodate and work as a team. And I just really want to just say thank you for helping us and not only myself only, for us to potentially be better people and better women for ourselves so we could potentially help other people around. And thank you just so much for being an example for us to do that and just taking a chance out on us and just only seeing the good within us. And I just want to also take this separate time out um, to also just say thank you to you ladies too for um, taking the patience and time out to um, share all your knowledge and your wisdom and your past history within working within the facility because I know it is difficult and it is hard. And um, 
I just really wanted to wrap it up and just say well, thank you. I have to I say, appreciate it. Thank you so my much. Pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Anybody else? First of all, um, thank you for this opportunity to be able to start a career. I've always enjoyed healthcare. This is just the first step. So thank you all for helping me, my teachers, Ray, all of you guys, because it's just the first step. Because my future goal is to become a nurse practitioner. So I thank you very much for everything, guys, and all my classmates as well. My teachers, mm -hmm. thank you. Go on. Anybody, anybody else? Myself. You want to say something? Well, go ahead, man. Everybody know there was a challenge for me because my language, and I only have two years in this country. In my country, everybody say that when you come to this country, you have to go and clean bathrooms, and it's better be over there. But if this opportunity and the passion that my teachers have with me, I can do it, and I feel so grateful. Thank you so much uh, to the team for making this possible for us. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other time? How the cameras make me <laughs> um, Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, the team. Thank you, Lidi. It's been a great experience for me coming from Nigeria and um, meeting people that are, um, they are my sister because I'll call them sisters because we all learn it together. And um, the experience has been great, <coughs> like I said. And um, it's just been wonderful. Let me just <laughs> wrap it up here. Nadesh? go to school. It, it, even if a first step as you said, but I feel very grateful to participate in that program. I always, when I was in my country, I dreamed to come here and to go to school. And I made the first step. It's so good for me. So thank you. Thank you, and thank you, Libby. Thank you, everyone. I say thank you for everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Libby. Thank you, and thank you, Libby. It's not easy for me. It's why. She's making us cry. I thought I was going to read it. And during 20 years, but I was in pass away. I live in New York, I have to move from New York to Boston. I have only one year, and then I just did. Never, ever seen a group hold each other up the way you guys held each other up. I don't know, I have a feeling it has something to do with Anne, because I wasn't with you as much as Anne was. But you held each other up, and I know that all of you appreciated that. All of you had bumps along the way. I don't know what they all were, but you all did. And look at you. Every one of you is here. Every one of you did a magnificent job in clinical. And I know some of you are now going to be friends for life. And isn't that a wonderful thing? And we're all going to hold our sister Marcel up 
because she is really special. She is. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. yeah. that my classmates are awesome. You all are awesome. Um, like, um, like you said, you hold each other up and it's like, it's great. It's a great feeling. And Tony got me a coat and it's like, I didn't have one. You guys are amazing. Like feeding each other lunch and stuff. That's awesome. You guys are amazing and you're going to be amazing nurses assistants and if you decide to go up, that's awesome too. I want to thank the teachers. I love learning. I love learning something new. You're great. And I especially want to thank Ray. He's, he's known me since I was a little girl. I go to his church. And he saw that I was falling on the hard times. He was like, hey, I got an opportunity for you. Come, come here, come here. We tried out a few other things. Didn't work out. And he told me about this program. I'm like, OK, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. And got 100 on my entrance exam, and like, oh, I might be good at this. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried it out, and here I am. Thank you, thank you, everyone. <laughs> OK, thank you, guys. I love all my classmates. They're all like sisters. I want to thank Ray and Libby. Everybody knows like a child. <sighs> I'm like an anxious person, but this program was excellent. I learned so much, and I made a lot of sisters, and I love the program, so I will recommend it to anybody. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And you did a great job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As well, I want to thank Faith for giving me this opportunity, and I want to thank you, all of you guys for teach me all the stuff, the things that we going. It was, oh my God, it was so fun. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss them. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys too. I love you guys. And th thank you for everyone in this room. Thank you so much. I have my poem here, but I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> because I, you've all already cried. <laughs> I know that you guys have the biggest, biggest hearts. I, you know, I've, I've been doing this a long time. Anne's been working with nursing assistants in other roles for a long time, and I have never seen women hold each other up the way you guys do. It came from someplace inside you, and that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Because Lord knows we have seen the opposite. <laughs> and we really, really, really enjoy every day with you. You guys in clinical, mm, you rock the house. <laughs> you know, they saw that you had that um, spark in you that made you want to be successful, made you want to be on a team, made you have that care and spirit for taking care of the residents. Now, I do know there's one more bridge to cross. We all know that. But we'll work together. You know, we'll work together so you guys will be successful with that. And now I have what you've been waiting for. I have your certificates. So in your certificates, you have your nurse assistant training, home health aid training, Alzheimer's disease, there's a little CPR card. Um, you have a copy of your skill sheet, a copy of your evaluation, and I'm going to give you your nurse aid tra your application for state testing and your instructions for that. So congratulations. Thank you. You're very welcome. Stay right there. Get this one. <laughs> Desiree. So I have to tell you guys, because some of you people that don't know Desiree don't know that she's only 18 years old. God bless her. What our baby you? sister did it. Go <laughs> All our baby sister did it. Actually, her two grannies helped her along the way. <laughs> Maria.
There is a very loud baby outside. <laughs> You guys also don't know that Antonia also has a secret. She is the most organized, neatest person. So neat. <laughs> Anybody who thinks that they're really neat just needs to find Antonia. <laughs> Bilikas. She came all the way from Nigeria just to be here with us. So we're going to take a group picture. Okay. Okay. Go turn around. Turn. Am I supposed to be getting pictures? I'm okay with you. I'm going to stick my head through you. No. That's it. Take your toes around here too. How about my toes? Yeah, Brad. Close for your ass to get in there. Of course. You know that. You got the wide angle ones, all right? That was for me. Yeah, if you want to. Give him a little punch. I won't put the words. You won't feel it. I'm good. You won't feel the thing. You didn't feel the thing, did you? I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but I'm not. Hey, everybody, tilt your head back. Okay, everybody, look over here. 